This is the New Jersey Meadowlands, home of the New York Giants, Jimmy Hoffa's body, and more wildlife than the mob could ever try to get rid of. This large ecosystem of wetlands just west of New York City is home to a diverse amount of wildlife and places that are long abandoned by industrialization, which nature is always ready to reclaim. Like this abandoned golf range on a life-sustaining river, it seemed like the perfect place for snakes in the city. Right when you're walking into these places. Obviously there's no trespassing sign behind me and I'm kind of skirting that by hanging out on the outside of the property, but um, you don't want to go into a building like this, especially if you get hurt or you get in trouble. Um, it's not a good place to be. If you're gonna go to a place that you've never been before, do take somebody with you. Like do the buddy thing, use the buddy system. Don't go alone to these places because you can find some really messed up stuff in here, including people. And sadly, when you're in a situation where you're in a place far removed from everybody else and you encounter somebody who has less than good intentions, that's a really risky and shitty situation to be in. You're so pretty. You don't have to be out oh, angry. Stop it. No, stop it. You're so, oh my God. Stop being so angry. Okay, I'll let you go. But you see, city guarders, pretty and angry. Okay, bye. Okay, I'll let you go now. Go, go back to your board. Bye. Love you. I see you still. Shaking that ass. Check out this board. I feel really good. These are nice old heavy aged boards. These are usually really, really good for turning up different species. I'm hoping that we'll get a DK snake out of here. Let's see. Ah, yes, there he is. Um, great. So let me grab this guy. One, two, show you what we got. Um, definitely two of the more common snakes here you'll see in the city um, and they often get confused a lot together this one obviously is a garter and you like to zig um, this is a garter and then this over here is a DK brown snake um, they're both like I said very similar especially at this size you can see that they remain the same though obviously there's some big color differences there um, but the garter snake <laughs> yes calls on command apparently um, is the darker one and I'm gonna let you go because we already talked about garters today so I'm gonna let him go if he wants to. There he goes. And here, let's focus on this guy a little bit here. Um, this is, <laughs> I see you, this is a decay snake. Um, and they're beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful little invertebrate eaters. Uh, they like to eat slugs and they like to crap all over you. Um, they, they like to eat slugs. And uh, sadly, they're often confused for copperheads and they're often killed. Um, and you can kind of see why, because it kind of does resemble a little bit of a copperhead with um, 
like a like brownish tan coloration. Of course, in the city, we're not going to find them, especially here in this part of New Jersey. We're not going to find copperheads, but people will still kill these and eastern milk snakes constantly um, because they mistake them for something venomous or something dangerous, which they're not. But I love these guys. And once again, this is like one of those snakes that for the longest time, before I knew any better, when I was a kid, I thought it was just a cool, different, like colored garter snake. And then when I kept finding more, I was like, oh, there's something different. And then later on, I realized that they were decays of brown snakes. And uh, they're just fantastic, man. We're so lucky to share these the city with these animals. And I love that most people don't realize they're even here. Like people just don't get it. These animals live here. These animals live and exist above us. And uh, it's pretty neat. This is a pretty neat species. So, okay, we're gonna put them back here and we're gonna let them go back to doing their thing. But I'm glad we at least got to see two. Two, let's see, we have one more board. Um, I'm hoping for three for, for the magic, the Holy Grail. And we get the, the magic trio there of an Eastern milk snake. Um, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that though. So. Very cool. Little brown snake. Very cute. Very, very cute. And uh, we'll keep on, okay? Bye. I love you. You're a fatty. You're eating a lot of worms. Get you guys ah, near one another. It's okay. It's okay. A little bit. It was a little suspensive. Like a suspense. When it was suspenseful? Why was it suspenseful? Like when we were going to pick it up and you said bit and all that. So yeah. So overall, I'm really happy with what we found here. Um, literally just 2.9 miles as the crow flies from the Empire State Building, we found two species of native snake to the region. We found eastern garter snakes and we found decays brown snakes, which was a really cool find to be able to see those two in one spot. So yeah, I'm glad you guys came along. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you the next time when um, we do some more exploring in this city and find some really cool animals. Sadly, hopefully, um, places like this won't disappear too fast before we can explore them, but best bet, we're gonna try. Yeah. It's always a good day when you don't find a body. Step by me, darling, darling, stand by me, oh, oh, oh stand.